Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well and keeping safe. Today, I'm going to share with you one of my mother's secret recipe. Today, we're going to cook this beautiful, uh, what we call a white leg prawn. Um, I think the other name is called the Vename prawns. These are bought at the local wet market. They are very fresh, very firm. And I think they could be in the season of spawning because coincidentally, all the 10 prawns that I had bought uh, had the orange roll over here. So I think that um, today's prawn is going to be very, very delicious. So let's start to clean the prawns and uh, get ready for cooking. Okay, what I would do um, for to prepare the prawn is I like to cut away the this um, the feelers of all the prawns and it's safer to handle the prawn by removing this you know many times many of us actually got cut by this uh, sharp thing at the at the top of the uh, prawn head so I like to remove them this could be a little bit more easy if you were to use the knife and just cut over here and then you can remove here but the presentation will not be as good as if you use a toothpick and take out the intestine uh, without slicing open the prawn after you have cleaned the prawns and removed the intestine then uh, we shall put this prawn into the fridge first and we prepare the sauce for today's cooking Before um, frying the prawn, um, I'd like to add some cornstarch, just a little bit will do. So that you know we give the prawn a little bit more crisps on the outside. First we're going to heat up some oil, um, you can put a little bit more oil because uh, more oil will help the prawn to be a little bit more crispy. Okay, now we will start putting in the prawns. It's good to cook the prawn in veggies. I do not want to overcrowd the prawns. And um, each side, we should be about frying about 60 seconds. There's no need to have it 100% cooked. Just 80% will do, because we're going to reintroduce them later in the cooking. Okay, take them out now. You know the prawn is it's almost ready when you can really smell the prawn smell. <laughs> I remove the prawn oil, then I use a kitchen paper to clean up my pan and after cleaning up I will sort of like uh, introduce some of this oil back to the pan because this oil is full of umami we do not want to waste them right coat the pan a little bit and then now we shall cook the sauce with the prawn first I put in the chopped garlic
Next, the onion to add more sweetness to the dish. Here we will cook the onion to a little bit softer. Okay, it's almost ready for the onion and then I will put in the tomatoes. The tomato is to give this dish a little bit of the sour element. So the onion will give the sweetness and the tomato will give the sour element of the dish. When the tomato starts to soften and it starts to reduce the moisture, this is the time where we will add our salt. When your salt is bubbling, and um, kind of like a no longer that watery anymore if you want it to be a little bit sticky then you can add a corn flour mixture at the moment but i am kind of happy with the uh, amount of uh, sauce that we have right now so the, what i'm going to do is just to reintroduce the prawn back and now we just need to let the sauce Coat the prawn, let the prawn absorb the sauce, it's a perfect harmony. You do not need to take too long because you do not want to overcook the prawn. And basically our dish is done. We just need to plate, make it look beautiful and enjoy our delicious tomato prawn. Oh, I'm so excited to try the prawn. Um, actually, this recipe is not really my mother's secret. It's more of like uh, she used to cook this very often when we were young. So I grew up eating this <laughs> uh, tomato prawns, which we really, really love. Okay, so I try a little bit of the sauce. Uh, not so much sauce in this case. Mm hmm. The sauce is sweet, sour, very appetizing. And um, now, of course, the highlight is the prawn. It's best to use the fingers to eat because mm, then um, you can really feel at home and you can really uh, lick your fingers. Easy to eat over here. Let's try. Mm -hmm. This prawn is very fresh. The flesh is firm, sweet, not overcooked. And um, for people who love eating the prawn head, there's um, sweetness inside, and the sauce has really went in into the head. Um, I'm so excited to try another one again. Ooh, so, so good. Okay. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Delicious. I hope I have done my mom proud by cooking this dish. And uh, it kind of reminds me of my childhood memory. And I really, really start to enjoy this dish again because I haven't cooked this dish for a long, long time. So, Please give this recipe a try and maybe you can cook for your mom as well. And meanwhile, stay safe everyone and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.